Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card that's fallen is the Temperance card and this is a need for you to find that balance. It's a need for you to get advice from people around you. It's a need for you to also take all your past experiences, everything that you've learned uh, and blend it together with new ideas. So you might need to do some study to actually get some new ideas, uh, but also use your past experiences and incorporate that into these new ideas or new concepts in order for you to move forward. Uh, now you've got that... Uh, resentment card over here so you might well be dealing with somebody that uh, uh, is giving you a lot of hassles a lot of problems you can see this man's pointing a sword at that uh, man so uh, you know you are dealing with a lot of conflict you might be butting heads with somebody or somebody might be causing a lot of problems for you there uh, and you've got uh, the prodigy card over here. So you, it looks like whatever you've been doing, you've been getting a lot of recognition. You've got a lot of new ideas and you've got a lot of groundbreaking ideas. And a lot of people have uh, stopped and take, uh, to take note. Uh, and this might have caused that resentment that you've got going on around you. So somebody's giving you a hard time over there. And maybe this is all just based on jealousy, really. So you've got uh, the vehemence card over here, and this is about having some difficulty with somebody. So uh, maybe the, this person that you're having uh, problems with, uh, you know, you could have had some kind of run-in with them in the past, uh, and this has now, you know, grown or it's um, become, uh, it's escalated really. Uh, so you are still dealing with that kind of problems. You may have said something to them that caused them to be very upset, or maybe something was done, uh, but, you know, so there was there's some bad blood between the two of you, and it's caused a lot of problems. There seems to have been some kind of argument or fight that went down now you have been coming up with some really good ideas you know almost going and doing a lot of research resurrect, resurrecting old ideas uh, giving them a new twist uh, you've been doing a lot of co uh, communication there might have been a lot of travel and whatever you've been doing has been uh, very very productive it's produced a lot of fruit over there so it's been very very good ideas uh, so you've been doing a lot of learning uh, as well with it uh, so, you know, you're, you're um, you know, reinventing a lot of things over there and bringing these brand new ideas. And it's about, you know, blending that old with that new. So uh, whatever new thing that is coming out from you, or whatever idea you're bringing out uh, in your work is, is something that is changing, it, you know, the way things were done before. So you've got this communion card over here, and this is about, um, you know, um, this might be apology necessary in order for you to bring peace and harmony within this particular situation. You know, uh, you might, you know, need to break bread with this particular person. So they might, you know, although you're having problems with them, uh, you might need to bury the hatchet and uh, continue, you know, in some kind of harmony, some kind of state of harmony over there. Now, the communion card could also be about having a lot of business meetings, uh, meeting a lot of people, uh, you know, uh, business dinners uh, with that communion going on, uh, but putting out a lot of ideas to people uh, by, you know, having a lot of networking going on. Uh, and that might be coming in for you over there. Uh, there's a need for you to focus on what you're doing. There might be some unexpected issues that you may need to deal with. Uh, so be aware uh, or be fully prepared. So make sure you have your research done so that nothing shocks you. Something is coming in in the form of information and it's coming in pretty quickly as well. And that could cause a lot of problems uh, or it could cause a lot of challenges, uh, I would say. But definitely a lot of meetings going on over there with that communion card. Uh, a lot of business meetings and a lot of collaborations coming in. Uh, but like I said, you might need to bury the hatchet with this particular person. It seems like you've had some kind of history with each other, uh, and it's you know it's getting worse. It seems because uh, you know where you know one person's beating the other person, the other person's got swords now. There could be legal issues that you're dealing with with regards to this person as well, or even something official uh, within the place that you're working. So there is a need maybe to get in. Uh, mediator or somebody who can uh, calm the waters down between the two of you there. But whatever you're doing, a lot of people taking note and they're very, very impressed with whatever ideas you're coming up with. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Book of Shadows Tarot for the main read.
it's the bottom of the deck you've got the three of pentacles so you are heading some project and you're working very very hard very very focused on it you've got a lot of creativity going for you there as well uh, you're heading this particular project and you're having to collaborate with a lot of people. And you're blending a lot of ideas of yours into this particular thing. It's almost like making that beautiful painting. Now, the Three of Pentacles is about working with a lot of other experts and, you know, combining all their creative talents together in order for you to build that cathedral that you want to build. But you are very, very focused on that work uh, at the moment. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of creativity involved in that. So you, you're handling a lot of people, you're heading this project, or, you know, there's some way that you're um, in charge uh, and, you know, you're giving a lot of people a lot of good ideas as well. Now, you're doing a lot of research. This is the Knight of uh, Cups, and this is your card. Uh, this is about spending a lot of time by yourself, doing a lot of research over there. Maybe you've accepted some kind of new offer as well with that Knight of Cups, but you are certainly very, very focused on this work, uh, and, uh, you know, you have, you're doing a lot of thinking as well. You can see he's reflecting a lot as well. So um, you've got the Ten of Cups over here. So this seems like whatever you've been doing right now, it's you know all those difficulties that you've been going through, all the problems that you've been having with people uh, are now coming to an end. So, you, you know, you will be able to sort out any kind of issues that you're having with anybody. Uh, it looks like that uh, will all fade away and it will uh, resolve itself. So you've got that Ten of uh, Cups there, an end of difficult emotional connections that you're having. So uh, those problems seem to sort themselves out. So you've got the Six of Pentacles. So whatever work you've been doing has been generating finances, and maybe it's been generating quite a lot of finances with that Six of Pentacles. That's a lot of money coming in. Uh, so it, it looks like you know whatever work you've been doing has been uh, reaping its rewards. You've got the Justice card over here, and this is about overworking. You can see her feet are very, very tired uh, and putting a lot of effort into something uh, and being very, very exhausted. So trying to find that balance back again. But also this is about dealing with legal issues. So there might be some kind of legal matter or some kind of legal judgment that needed to be sorted out uh, before you could proceed uh, with whatever you're doing. So it looks like that uh, legal issue has been resolved. Now, what's in your mind? You've got that Knight of Swords over there. So uh, this is about being very focused on that work over there, being very logical about what you're doing, but also about information coming in uh, and maybe needing to seek some kind of professional inf uh, advice. Um, even, you know, this card also talks about seeking professional um, legal uh, advice. Uh, because it's the Knight of Swords. Whatever is going on, you know, you might be dealing with somebody as well with that Knight of Swords that is very disruptive uh, and very nasty. Um, so maybe a nasty kind of energy is what you're dealing with as well. And this is being playing on your mind. This person might be a bit sarcastic, uh, you know. Uh, they might be stirring up a lot of issues as well, and you, you really can't come to... Maybe you're unable to actually work with them. So it looks like if you're having any problems with somebody, you might need to be seeking uh, some kind of mediation uh, in order for you to make things uh, go smoothly. Now, going into the future, you've got uh, the Eight of Wands, and this is about things starting to move very quickly, and you manifesting. This is a card of manifestation in this deck. Uh, you can see meeting a lot of people with that Eight of Wands, a lot of information coming in, and, uh, you know, sorting out problems, because with the Eight of Wands, you know, everything is, is all, all the wands are usually pointing in the same direction. So getting everybody on board, getting everybody to do the w uh, things the way you want them to do, and, you know, getting smooth uh, workings of that particular system. So this could be also that you're traveling a lot, uh, but you're definitely manifesting all your ideas and making it work. And things are going to start moving pretty quickly soon, and you're going to be very, very busy soon as well. You've got that Ten of Pentacles. It seems like you may be thinking of actually ending this job and moving forward. So ending an old f uh, phase and actually moving forward with something brand new with that Ten of Pentacles. So, uh, you know, you could be working towards that. Maybe this is why you're doing so much of studying, maybe working towards this new project. This could, and you've got that Ten of Cups over there, so maybe, uh, you know, whoever you've been working with, maybe it's been getting a little bit out of hand there with that Knight of Swords. Maybe you want to break the contract with this particular company or wherever you're working with and move on. So you certainly are ending relationships, old relationships, and definitely ending old work, uh, relation, work cycles or, um, you know, where you... Um, with Pentacles, it's about earning, you know, where you've been earning, you uh, severing ties with that particular company or that particular job and ending ties with those particular people that you've been working with as well. Uh, and maybe what you're doing right now is studying or improving your skill set in itself uh, so that you can actually move on.
So it seems like you're at a phase right now where you're ending something and you're going to be moving on to something brand new. Uh, and it looks like, you know, you may have been having a lot of problems with the people that you have been working with. Uh, with that um, uh, three of pentacles, you want to focus on that job. It seems, like I said, you will be collaborating with a lot of people. So this could be a new project that you're heading, uh, something brand new to generate finances as well. But it looks like you're ending cycles over there, that old job that you've been working with. Now, you're well on your way to climbing up your success ladder. You've got the six of wands. So whatever problems are, that you've been dealing with, although it's been very, very difficult, it looks like you will overcome them and you will be successful at what you do. So this is victory after a lot of hardship. And you can see she's really struggling to climb up that hill, but she's getting there. She's nearly there. You have to just hang in there. You're almost there. And it will be a successful outcome. Now, you might be thinking of further training as well with this Eight of Pentacles. So this is something that you're considering doing, uh, maybe in a different branch or a different field. But you're definitely thinking of going and doing further study or improving your skill set over there. Now, going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Nine of Cups and you've got the King of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So it looks like, uh, you know, there's some kind of legal decision that will comes through that King of Swords and where you're severed ties completely with that particular company. It looks like there's that legal decision as uh, coming, a judgment is being made there and you're going to end things and move on. So you're definitely ending things with this particular job that you're working with. It seems like there was a lot of drama there and you didn't want to deal with it anymore. So you are reinventing yourself and coming out and whatever it is that you want is going to be very successful because this is this um, nine of cups. And you can see these people having a celebration going on over here. So whatever uh, problems you've been facing, whatever obstacles, you've got a lot of support from the people around you. But it looks like there's a celebration in order there and it looks like your wishes are going to be fulfilled. So you are walking away from this old, from this job and it's probably because of all the drama that's been going on. Maybe there were legal implications of whatever happened, but it looks like you're going to be ending uh, ties there and moving away from those jobs. So there's three tens. There's definitely an end of a cycle. Definitely things coming to an end uh, and you definitely are moving on because you can see her walking away with that ten of swords. You may, It may not have gone, things may not have gone in your favor usually the ten of swords you know where you have things that happen uh, and the, whatever decision or judgment was made you know may not have been in your favor so this is the reason why you're walking away but you're walking away with a lot of authority uh, a lot of information in hand and you're very very uh, you know you're determined to succeed uh, with that king of swords you're not taking any nonsense you're cutting ties with these people completely and you're moving on. Maybe the new job that you're going to be doing is going to be something where you are training up a lot of people. It's very logical pe uh, work that you're doing. It could be that you're even working within the legal system in itself. Uh, you know, with the King of uh, Swords, you're thinking about judges. And so this, or, or, you know, somebody that's in the spotlight and communicating quite a bit as well. So something that's, uh, you know, very cutting edge, something that's very logical, something that's very scientific is what you're going to be working on. And you're going to be very happy at what you do because this is a, it's probably your dream job. This is something that you've been waiting for for a long time. So a big change coming in for you there. Uh, a, a lot of focus on that work over here and you're going to be able to manifest things uh, in your life, but also things starting to move on. So where you've been feeling stuck or stagnant you are now almost at the top over there and success is pretty much yours but it might be that you have to leave this situation uh, in order for you to uh, achieve the final uh, part of your um, career journey really now you've got that seven of uh, winter over here so there's a better choice not seeing things clearly running away from the truth so there's some kind of information missing uh, you need to actually stand and face uh, whatever is going on uh, but also, um, you know, there might, uh, you might need to change your plans a little bit with the Seven of Winter. You could be dealing with a lot of deception and there could also be, uh, you know, dealing with a lot of legal issues as well. There is a need for you to do some research as well with the Seven of Winter. So go and seek the truth or seek out information that will help you, um, you know, get out of the situation uh, as easily as possible. So there's something that you are dealing with on that legal front. But make sure you're either getting advice uh, or you are doing a lot of research. You've got the Wheel of Fortune coming. That's another 10. So that cycle is ending completely. Delays are over. Sudden, unexpected, good luck, uh, new car or travel. So the Wheel of Fortune uh, coming in over there. And so this job is changing and you're moving forward. Uh, and so that's the end of the, that particular cycle, maybe an end of a cycle of difficulties. And now you will move forward quite quickly. 
And there again, uh, the justice card. So take time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end fair and objective decisions. So you, there is something legal that you have been facing maybe for the last few months with that justice card over there. You've got the justice card here and you have got the Ten of Swords. So there's some kind of legal breakup that you're going through as well on that work front. And um, it looks like... Um, where is that King of Swords? You have the King of Swords as well in this particular spread. Uh, there you go. Uh, so there is some kind of decision that is going to be made so that you leave the situation completely. And you have your freedom to go on and do whatever it is you want. Um, and you've got that endings of cycles over there. So you are definitely leaving things. You've even got that 10 off the wheel. So cycles ending, and it looks like there's some kind of legal issues that you are dealing with as well. Uh, case, you know, judgments being passed as well. But whatever that judgment or that decision is, it will allow you to move forward, and it will allow you to start something where you can further your career and move up and be successful. So uh, I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.